Hi everyone, if you are a football lover in Nigeria, something remarkable has taken place at the Steven Keshi Stadium in Nasaba. Heartland Football Club of Oweri have been officially crowned champions of the Nigeria National League after defeating Kano Pillars on this pitch. Of course, uh, for uh, the Nigeria National League Super 8 final. It finished two goals to nil in favor of Heartland FC. They scored the first goal, courtesy of the boot of Erika Francis, who happens to be the best player of the tournament. Yes, Erika Francis, uh, jersey number seven for uh, Heartland Football Club, scored a delightful uh, uh, early second half striker with his left foot, uh, dazzling his way through some Kano Pillars defenders uh, to, of course, uh, find a beautiful finish. Uh, uh, the second goal, of course, uh, came uh, during the latter part of uh, uh, the second half, uh, uh, courtesy of the boot of uh, to put the icing on the cake for uh, Heartland Football Club. Uh, credits to Chris Edobi, the coach of Heartland FC. And there's one thing he has been hammering on uh, that the management of the club never believed in him. Fans did not believe in him. Uh, people in Oweri, people in Imo State did not believe uh, in this current club of players. Uh, they applied their trade for Heartland FC. But all that is history now. Uh, the boys have uh, been able uh, to make history today by ending the Nigerian National League season unbeaten. Yes, do you know that Atlanta FC uh, in their group in the Southern Conference, yes, in the Southern Conference, uh, uh, went through nine matches without losing a game at all. They came to the Super 8 in Asaba. Of course, uh, uh, they stumbled in their first game, playing the goalless draw against Thomas Sports Club of Abel But they bounced back in their second game against FC Rocket of Uyo and then beat Sporting Lagos on the final match day in the group stages uh, to advance to the final. And guess what? Against uh, one of the uh, renowned teams in Nigerian football, Kano Pillars, uh, these Heartland FC guys held their own uh, to emerge champions and they did it in outstanding fashion, unbeaten and undefeated. So congrats to Christian Obi and of course uh, the entire management team of Heartland Football Club of Oweri. For Kano Pillars, uh, they will be disappointed on the day uh, that they cannot lay their hands on the title. But of course, uh, the ultimate uh, uh, primary objective was to get back to the MPFL uh, that they have done in the final. Uh, the legendary player of Nigerian football, Rabi Ali, uh, was absent uh, after, of course, uh, uh, getting a red card in the final group game against Casino United. Uh, probably that affected the performance of the boys on the pitch. Uh, Kano Pillars were a bit lethargic uh, in the attacking play. Uh, but who cares? Uh, the fans will be happy that they've returned back to the top flight of Nigerian football. So that's it for... Uh, all the exclusive updates from uh, the Stephen Cashin Stadium in Asaba, the Nigerian National League Super 8 has been forfeit since the 1st of January, uh, 1st of July, I beg your pardon, <laughs> the 1st of July up until the 7th of July 2023. At the end of uh, uh, 90 minutes of football, it finished Kano Pillar 0, Atlant FC 2 to be my champions of the Nigerian National League. I take it over here, sir. Uh, the champions uh, are seed of Bernal Insurance. Bernal where the uh, champions last year uh, when, of course, uh, they match at the Nigerian National League uh, tournament winners. And uh, all eyes are now set on uh, next season when the Nigerian Premier Football League will return uh, towards the ending part of the month of August. And the big boys, of course, uh, will be back at playing top flight football. They include Kano Pillars, Kassina United, Atlanta Football Club, and the Dark Horse in this competition, Sporting Lagos, who have also qualified on their second time of acting. From me to you, keep loving sports. My name is Victor Emmanuel Odo. It's been fun right here in Asaba.